Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. So now I'm going to start the next problem on cash flow statement. The problem number six. Already five main problems I have completed till the last video. If you have watched those videos, definitely you are in a position to understand how to make the cash flow statement by using the two balance sheets. So if you join in the middle, you may not be able to understand. So I suggest you to watch the earlier videos. Then only you can be able to understand this video. So if you have not watched the earlier videos, I suggest you to go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject, financial statement analysis. Select the topic, cash flow analysis. Watch the initial videos. You will get a lot of knowledge on how to make the cash flow statement. Now I'm going to start the next problem. That is problem number six. So before watching the problems, I suggest you to take a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. So I am reading out the sixth problem. From the following balance sheet pertaining to Alka Limited as a 31st March 2016 and 2017. The current year is 2017 and 2016 data is also given. You are required to prepare the cash flow statement. The two balance sheets are given in vertical form. Share capital, last year it is 200, current year 300, so issue of shares, financing activity. Reserves and surplus, last year 160, current year 240, but we need the breakup. What these reserves and surplus constitutes, that will be given in the notes. So on the last line you can see notes to accounts, reserves and surplus. General reserve and surplus in the statement of profit and loss account. So two items are given in reserves and surplus. One is general reserve. And the other is surplus in the statement of profit and loss. So surplus in the statement of profit and loss, last year 100, current year 160. All these are rupees in thousands. Three zeros are omitted. That's why on the top of my solution, I have written rupees in thousands. After removing three zeros, last year surplus was 100, current year surplus is 160. So this is the increase in surplus increase in surplus in the profit and loss statement. So I am starting now. Alka limited cash flow statement for the year ended 31st March 2017 rupees in thousands. Cash flow from operating activities first of all. So increase in surplus in statement of profit and loss. The so last line notes it is given last year it is 100 current year it is 160. So 160 minus 100 60. Now we have to adjust for non-cash, non-operating items. Now carefully if you observe the balance sheets, intangible assets. <clears throat> intangible assets are last year 100, current year 80. That means intangible assets have decreased. So we will make a valid assumption that during the current year intangible assets were written off. Intangible assets were written off. So when Intangible assets are written off. It's a non-cash item. So adjustments for non-cash, non-operating items, intangible asset written off. 20 is the difference. Last year and current year, 20 is the difference. Similarly, transfer to general reserve. If you see the last line, general reserve, last year it is 60. Current year it has become 80. So how the general reserve have increased? So we'll make the assumption during the current year some profit has been transferred from profit and loss account to the general reserve so this is called transfer to general reserve that's a non-cash item so here transfer to general reserve 20 now you take the total 60 plus 20 plus 20 100 this is called operating profit before working capital changes Operating profit before working capital changes. Now adjustment for working capital changes. We have to consider the current assets and current liabilities. And again, remember the rule. Already every problem, every video I'm saying that you have to remember the rule regarding working capital. Increase in current liability and decrease in current asset. These items should be added. This rule you have to remember while adjusting working capital now current assets current assets inventories are there last year 100 current year 160 last year 100 current year 160 so increase in inventory inventory is a current asset if it is decreased it will be added 
decrease in current asset will be added. But here we are having increase, so it will be deducted. So increase in inventory should be deducted. Increase in stock. Increase in inventory or stock. Stock or inventory means one and the same. Deduct 60. Second item is trade receivable. Last year trade receivable was 120, current year 200. Again, increase in trade receivable. Same thing, just like inventory. So increase in trade receivable minus 80,000. The difference is 80. Next one, come to uh, current liability. Trade payable. Only one current liability is there. Last year 80, current year 110. Increase in trade payable. Trade payable is the current liability. So increase in current liability should be added. So increase in trade payable added. Increase in trade payable added. So deduct means bracket. Added means without bracket. Now 100 minus 60 minus 80 plus 30 you will get minus 10. Minus 10 you are getting. So this is called cash used in operations before tax. If it is positive we would have used cash generated. If it is negative, we will make use the word cash used in operations before tax. There is no income tax. So take the amount in the outer column. Minus 6, minus 10. Cash used in operating activities. So one activity completed. Now second activity. Cash flow from investing activity. Now we have to consider the fixed assets. Tangible assets are given. Tangible assets last year 200. Current year 300. That means tangible assets have increased. When assets increased, we made the assumption during the year we have purchased. By purchasing the asset, our assets will increase. So how much purchased? 100. So we will take purchase of tangible assets, 100. When we purchase anything, we have to make the payment. So there is cash outflow. Outflow means negative. In bracket you will take. So take the amount in the outer column. This is called cash used in investing activity. Because negative, that's why cash used. Two activities completed. The last activity, financing activity. In financing activity, we consider the share capital, debentures, etc. So in our problem, share capital last year 200, current year 300. So during the year, shares were issued. So issue of shares 100. Similarly, debentures. You see debentures last year 100, current year 120, current year increased issue of debentures. So issue of debentures 20, so total 120. This is positive because when shares are issued cash inflow, when debentures are issued cash inflow, so both are inflows. So will cash generated from financing activity, negative right or thought used, positive generated. Now take the amount total in the outer column. Here it is minus 10, minus 100, plus 120. So minus 10, minus 100, plus 120, you'll get positive 10. Positive 10. This positive 10 is net increase. Positive, so net increase. Increase in cash and cash equivalent. To this we add the opening balance of cash and cash equivalent given in the balance sheet. In the balance sheet you can see Cash and cash equivalent last year was 20. In the balance sheet it is given last year's cash and cash equivalent are 20. So I am taking 20 last year. Last year's closing will become current year's opening. 1-4-2016 is our beginning of the year. Now 10 plus 20, 30 is the cash and cash flow at the end of the year. 31st March 2017. Now you confirm it whether it is correct or not. The total cash and cash equivalent at the end of the year 30. Whereas in the balance sheet also you can see cash and cash equivalent end of the year 30. That means our calculations are absolutely right. Correct. So this is the cash state, cash flow statement for problem number 6. Now I am reading out the next two problem, problem number 7. Statement of financial position of Mr. Madhu are given below. This is the first problem of a sole trader. It's not a company. Previous all the problems were companies, a corporation. That's why we are having share capital. Here it is a sole trader, is the balance sheet of Mr. Madhu. Madhu is a person, natural person. So 
this balance sheet is of a sole trading concern. So what is the difference in this? The profits are adjusted in capital. In company form of organization, the profits will not be adjusted in capital. The profit will be kept separately in an account called profit and loss account. Profit and loss account will be kept separate. Share capital will be separate. But in sole trading concern, the profit will be adjusted in capital. The profit will be added. Drawings will be deducted. Drawings ka matlab the amount withdrawn for personal use. The amount withdrawn by the owner for personal use is called drawings. So here it's a sole trading concern. So capital is given. So the profit will increase the capital. The loss will decrease the capital. If the capital decreases, there may be two reasons. The first reason, the capital might have decreased because of loss. Because of loss. Secondly, the capital might have decreased on account of drawings. If the owner has withdrawn the money for personal use from business, the capital will decrease. If there is a loss in the business, the capital will decrease. So there are two reasons why capital is decreased. In our problem, last year capital was 7,31,000. Beginning of the year. On 1st January 1989, the capital was 7,31,000. End of the year, capital was 6,15,000. Capital decreased. Now, why the capital have decreased? Two reasons. It may be loss or it may be drawings. But in the last line, additional information is given. There were no drawings. Additional information is saying there are no drawings. Then what is the reason then? Loss. Due to loss, the capital have decreased. So we don't have any general reserve. We don't have any profit and loss account because it's a sole trading concern. The profit or loss will be adjusted in the capital of the sole trader. Right? That is a different point. So here there is a loss. So I'm starting Mr. Madhu cash flow statement for the year ended 31st December 1989. Net loss during the year. So how we know the net loss? Difference in the capital 7,31,000 minus 6,15,000. So 1,16,000 is the loss. That's why I'm putting it in bracket. Putting in bracket. Now, see the other items. Accounts payable is a current liability. So we'll consider on the working capital. Leave it. Come to asset side. Cash. Cash, beginning of the year, end of the year. Lastly, we'll do cash and cash equivalent. Then debtors and stock. Debtors and stock are current assets. We'll consider in working capital. Next one is building and machinery. Building last year 92,000, current year 80,000. The building value decreased by 12,000. Machinery last year 6 lakh, current year 5 lakh. Machinery decreased by 1 lakh. Now remember, the assets will decrease on account of two reasons. Either on account of sale or on account of depreciation. The asset value will decrease on account of two reasons. It may be on account of sale of the asset. It may be on account of depreciation. Here in the last paragraph it was given. There were no purchase or sale of either building or machinery. Specifically given in the problem that during the year there is neither sale nor purchase of any building or machinery. So no purchase, no sale. Then whatever, why the building and machinery have decreased? On account of depreciation. On account of depreciation. So non-cash items I am taking. Adjustment for non-cash, non-operating items. Depreciation on building. Depreciation on building. 92 minus 80, 12,000. Depreciation on machinery. 6 lakh minus 5 lakh, 1 lakh. These are the depreciation. Now, minus 1 lakh, 16,000 plus 12,000 plus 1 lakh. You will get minus 4,000. This minus 4,000 represents operating loss before working capital changes. Operating loss before working capital changes. Now, adjustment for working capital changes. One by one, current assets and current liabilities. Current assets, debtors. Last year, 20,000. Current year, 17,000. Decrease in debtors should be added because de decrease in current asset should be added. Here it is given. Decrease in current asset should be added. So decrease in debtors add. Here you can see. 
decrease in debtors add 3000 difference you will take last year and current year difference 3000 add next increase in stock minus increase in stock stock last year 8000 current year 13000 increase in current asset should be deducted so increase in stock minus 5000 next comes to liability side current liability account payable last year 29000 current year 25000 decrease in current asset should be deducted because increase in current liability is added increase in current liability should be added decrease in current liability should be deducted so decrease in accounts payable deducted 4000 that's all so minus 4000 plus 3000 minus 5000 minus 4000 you will get minus 10000 minus 10000 this is cash used in operations before tax because negative is there that's why i'm using the word used so cash used in operations before tax income tax is not there so cash used in operating activities minus 10000 cash used in operating activity minus 10000 now come to cash flow from investing activity specifically given in the problem there is neither purchase nor sale of any machinery or building no asset is purchased no asset is sold so investing activity nil cash flow from investing activity nil similarly cash flow from financing activity financing activity will occur when there is further capital introduced or drawings are made or loan is taken if the owner has brought further capital or if the owner has made the drawings or a loan is taken that case financing activity they'll be there but here there is no cash flow from financing activity no further capital introduced no drawings no loan taken so finance cash flow from financing activities nil so only one item is there minus 10000 so this minus 10000 represents net decrease in cash and cash cash and cash equivalent net decrease because negative is the decrease now we will take the cash and cash equivalent at the beginning of the year at the beginning of the year cash was 40000 given 40,000 was the cash at the beginning of the year. So cash and cash equal at the beginning of the year 40,000. Now 40,000 minus 10,000 you will get 30,000. So cash and cash equivalent at the end of the year is 30,000. This is on 31st December. Now you confirm it from the balance sheet whether it is 30,000 or not. So cash end of the year is 30,000. In the balance sheet it is given 30,000. We got 30,000. That means our calculations are correct. That's it. So this is the end of problem number 7. So in this video we have seen the cash flow statement of a sole trading concern. This one. 7. So so far 7 problems have completed on cash flow statement. So if you are satisfied with my lecture give a like to the video. Share my channel in your group in your friend circle so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge. Give your comments. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe my channel if you have not yet subscribed. We'll continue, inshallah, the next problem in the next video.